Louis, uh, so nice right. to see you. Congratulations, first of all, Thank on all your success. We've known each other a long time, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, you've been a, a hilarious guy since day one, and now it just feels like it's all come together, which is really nice. Pretty good right now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you seem afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it could change at any minute. It could yeah, change it could. At any second. Totally. I don't expect any of it to keep going. Right. Right, it I will. Mean, you can't. Yeah. Why, how you've do got, you know? I do, Why, I know that's everything. That's so arrogant you've got on two, my behalf. You've got two more years on top. Two more? Uh, that's good. <laughs> no, uh, now, in, in the show, Louis, which is hilarious uh, and Emmy-nominated, it's a very dark world that you portray. I guess so, yeah. Well, I, I, I think life is pretty... Uh, I don't think it's so awful. I mean, I, I don't think you should expect anything to go well. I think the only thing you have coming to you, after you're born, the only thing you have really coming to you is death. That's the only thing that's... <laughs> That you're owed. That you're owed. The and the rest of it can, is whatever yeah. you get lucky enough to dodge the buses that can hit you and stuff, you know? Right. But I do, I think the world the way it is is pretty, is, is better than it could be. I think that, uh, um, you know, there's war and there's murder, but there's not as much as there could be. <laughs> really. There could be so much more. Like when I see a crowd of people like at Disneyland or something, I'm like, how are they not killing each other all the time? <laughs> like, how are there not like 50 murders every day at Disneyland? <laughs> Just people with knives just going, could you just move? You know, just yeah. little, just. <laughs> when I hear like a man was murdered, I'm like, sure he was. I get all the people get there's, there's no horror. There's no, oh my God, a well, man no, was murdered. I'm upset for him, blah, blah, his family. But <laughs> it's not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I was, uh, once I saw a homeless guy at a bus stop and he looked really wretched and there was a woman next to him with a purse. And in my head, I was saying to him, murder her. What are you, just murder her and take the money. You're homeless. Life is kicking you in the balls every day. Start murdering and eating well. Like, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you do that? Sounds very reasonable when you say it. Well, wow. I try to put myself in other people's shoes. I think that's, you're supposed to do that. That's empathy. Empathy. And sometimes I do it for, like I saw a homeless guy once. I see a lot of homeless guys because America's in trouble, but I yeah. saw this homeless guy. <laughs> and he, uh, I, I was, I pictured being him, but not for the right reasons. It was because he had a beautiful thick head of hair. He had gorgeous, like James Dean, just, mwah, just, I was like, oh, give me that. Like I, I thought I would trade with him. You would trade with the I homeless guy? I would trade guy? lives with him so that I get the hair, he can have everything I have, and be bald. I would do it, because I'm confident. I'd go, what, take a shower, go to a comedy club, in a few years I'd be me with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be with... It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> and he, what about he, him? He, he would lose whatever I left him with, and because uh, <laughs> he has no life skill, and he'd be bald. <laughs> That's, you do have empathy. I do. That's, that's what empathy means, right? Yeah. That's a well, pretty good definition. Well, let me ask